welcome to my channel. I am Miley, and welcome to my world. I don't know what I'm doing with this. Must be swift as a coursing river. Like I said in my previous video, I am looking to create a series of videos of different crafts you guys can do to help fill your time. I also know there are a lot of parents out there looking for craft ideas to do with their children since most kids are no longer in school. And this made me think of this craft I did in my elementary art class that I absolutely loved. And since I had a ton of yarn left over from my previous video making the macrame pieces behind me, I thought this would be the perfect time to revisit this craft and remake it as an adult. So if you would like to see this kind of DIY weaving craft I did, keep watching. To start out this project, you can grab a board, a box, a book, and maybe even a cat. Okay, the cat's just there for moral support. I'm going to quickly show you the kids version of this craft and also some of the techniques used to make this weaving. I started off by just cutting out a piece of cardboard from this cereal box and using my scissors I'm just making slits down the side. And once those slits are complete, I took some yarn and I taped it in the back and started wrapping it around the board, sticking the yarn through those slits. This is creating your warp yarn. And once the yarn is fully wrapped around, you're just going to tape it off in the back. I'm going to go over some of the techniques and knots I used. This is how I created the fringe. I did the lark's head knot, just taking a piece of yarn, folding it in half, pulling it underneath, and then pulling the ends through that U shape at the top. To create a nice layered fringe look, I wanted pieces at different lengths, so I would fold it in half, but not perfectly in half, so that I would have pieces at different lengths. For the kids version, you can just do some standard weaving where you go under every other piece and then with the next string, you just do the opposite. And then once that's all woven through, you can just tie those two pieces at the ends together. Next is the braided weave. This is the technique of weaving that I used on all of my pieces. I just took some yarn and tied it to the warp piece and then just taking the ends, I'm going to be wrapping it around every warp piece. And then when you start to wrap it back the other way, it will create a braided look. And then once I would get to the end of that string, I would just knot it to the warp piece and then take that end and stick it behind the weaving. Now that I showed you the kids version and the techniques I used, I'm going to quickly set up the adult version. I used a thin canvas I had laying around. This is a nine by 12 canvas that you can get pretty much at any craft store. To create a nice full fringe look, I would take three pieces of the thin yarn together and do the lark's head knot, and I would also do this several times on each warp piece. Mm -hmm. 
To switch up the color and texture of the fringe, I used thick white yarn and thick gray yarn and layered it just like I did with the thin yarn. And then once the fringe was complete, I started with the actual weaving portion of this tapestry and using that braided technique, I used that throughout the rest of this piece and all my other pieces and I was loosely basing this design on a landscape. And once I was happy with the area I completed with one color, I would go in with a different color and fill in those spaces. I usually didn't take one color of yarn fully across the tapestry, so I would take another color and fill in the space on the other side so that there would be no gaps in this tapestry. And one thing I recommend is switching between thickness in your yarn. This will help create some really nice textures in your tapestry. And if you are doing this craft with your children, I recommend just sticking with the thicker yarn. This will be easier for them to work with and it will make their tapestries move along a lot quicker. And when I did this in elementary school, we used really colorful thick yarn for this craft. One thing I learned through this process is to not pull too hard on the yarn that you are weaving in and out between the warp pieces of yarn. As you can see, the pieces on the end are starting to curve in because I am pulling too hard. You want it to be really nice and loose so that it doesn't curve in and your tapestry is just straight up and down. And the further up the tapestry that you go, those warp yarn pieces are going to get a lot tighter. So just take your time and work the yarn up as close to the top as you can. And then once the tapestry was complete, I just flipped it over and I cut those strings straight down the middle of the back. And then removing those pieces of tape, I was then able to lift the canvas board that I used. And now we have those long, loose warp pieces dangling, so I'm just going to take two at a time and tie them together. And if you did the kids version of this craft, you're going to do the same thing, just flipping over that cardboard, cutting down the middle, and then tying the ends together. And now that all of my tapestries are complete, I'm actually going to be painting this dowel using some charcoal gray chalk paint. I thought that this would match better with the tapestry colors that I used. And once the dowel was dry, I just took those loose warp pieces at the top of the tapestry and tied them around the dowel. And then 
I took some thick white yarn and thin tan yarn and braided that together and tied it to each end of this dowel to hang this tapestry. And this is the tapestry all complete and hung up. I made art, guys! Woohoo! So yeah, um, this is what I came up with using some yarn and cardboard. Um, <laughs> I never in a million years thought that I would be recreating a craft that I did in elementary school, but I really like how the adult version turned out. And if you try out this craft, send me a picture on Instagram at Miley underscore Gonzalez. I would love to see it. I definitely know I have some people out there that have messaged me and have been interested in how I created this craft ever since I posted a picture of it on my Instagram. And if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification button so you know when I post. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys!